Yo, what's up gang? Welcome to another Izzy Man Diaz video. You guys blew me away with all the support you giving me on my Black Air Force analysis on lockdown. And for that, I just want to say thank you. But that being said, today we're going to be covering the line. Treacherous. Master manipulator himself, bro. Handsome ja- oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. That, that's, that's the next video. My bad. It's Sentinel Prime's time, baby. Yes, sir. Like, subscribe, and share this video, man. It's going to be a banger, I promise you. Go grab a snack, get something to drink, and kick your feet up because we're about to get started, man. All right, all right, all right. So before I get into the nitty-gritty of Sentinel Prime's character, pause, bro. Not even a full minute in. That's crazy. We got to talk about the events leading up to what I'm going to describe in this video. I'm, I'm sure you know the drill by now. I got, I got to give context to those that are unaware of what's going on in the series. So basically... A long time ago, Sentinel was the commander of the Autobots during a war on Cybertron. Bro saw no end to all the slaughter, so he went behind his team's back and made a top secret alliance with Megatron. They knew that in order to restore Cybertron to its former glory, another planet had to be sacrificed in the process. Which we, we all know is Earth, bro. It's, it's always Earth, come on. Sentinel ended up developing a giant Peter Griffin-sized teleporter known as a Space Bridge. Sentinel intended to use the Space Bridge to transport ah, I can't talk. planetary resources and whatnot across vast distances in space. But instead, he lied to everybody, claiming that it should be used instead to send soldiers to battle. Sometime later, Bro took off in a spaceship with the intention of linking up with Megatron, but a gunfight broke out around Sentinel's ship with damage it and caused it- ugh, I can't talk. Damaged it and sent it off somewhere of- ugh, Oh my god! Sent it somewhat off course. Until sometime later and landed on the moon. NASA detected the ship's crash landing and later sent out astronauts to investigate what was going on. But what NASA didn't know was that something reached the ship way before they did. So you see, a secret team of Decepticons have been tracking Sentinel Prime's ship throughout all this time, and once Bro landed, they ran in his whip and pretty much looted everything, just to keep stuff out of humanity's grubby little fingertips. Now, several decades later, bro, Optimus and Ratchet arrive on the moon and discover Sentinel's body, along with a few pillars for his <laughs> quote-unquote space bridge. They resurrect Sentinel, who, uh, hold, hold, hold on, I, I gotta put the Black Air Force team on for a second. Immediately tried to smoke something, bro. Like, he woke up and threatened to slice Optimus' head oh, clean off. That is a wild entrance for a character. A anyway, anyway, anyway. Sentinel calms down and gaslights everybody by telling them that the Decepticons stole the pillars. But what everybody didn't know was that Sentinel still kept his deal with Megatron, so so bro is basically manipulating everyone into falling for his master plan. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Sheesh. That man been an imposter the entire time, bro. Vote him out of here. And before someone pulls up to the comments section and is like, <laughs> Well, actually, Izzy, you missed a key detail regarding the sheer importance of Sentinel Prime's role in Cybertronian history. J -j bro, just stop. Just stop. Just relax, man. Just relax. I see you in the comments typing that already. Just just chill out and vibe with the rest of us, man. You, you know I gotta be so serious, bro. It's, <laughs> it's not that deep. Anyway... Fast forward ahead, Mike Go, Ironhide, and Bumblebee are standing outside a military complex with the goal of defending Sentinel from nearby Decepticons. Oh boy. Sam with Wiki is on the scene and orders officers to protect Sentinel at all costs. But then, Sentinel finally admits in front of everyone that Megatron is a sneaky link. Bro pulls out his cosmic rust cannon and immediately smokes Ironhide, bro. He shot him in the chest multiple times. Oh my god. Not only that, but while doing it, bro had the audacity to tell Ironhide, I nearby discharge you of duty, right before he freaking fired a kill shot, bro. Somebody stop this man. You had no reason to do my mans like that. Rest in peace, one of the goats of this series, bro. <laughs> if I were one of the writers for this movie, I would I would have simply just kept Ironhide alive. But that's just me, though. Sentinel focuses attention on Bumblebee, but luckily my mans managed to bob and weave through every shot. Then, Sentinel decides to just absolutely annihilate the military complex. Bro basically walked in there, repped his set, tell humans that he doesn't take orders from them, and creates even more chaos and death just to grab his pillars for the space bridge, bro. Mans isn't only disrespectful, but he's a menace to society. Optimus tries to stop Sentinel from activating his space bridge, but sadly, bro, he was too late. Remember those Decepticons I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the moon? Well, well, guess what? They all came pouring through and started wreaking havoc, bro. Literal Black Air Force wearing menaces to society. Well then, <laughs> uh, fast forward again. We get to seeing Starscream, Megatron, and him to no prime. 
chilling on top of a skyscraper. Megatron reflects on a deal him and Sentinel made all those years ago, saying that we will rebuild Cybertron together. But Sentinel was like, we? <laughs> Who's we? Bro started speaking French now. Man just grips Megatron's face up and slams his head down, basically telling Bro straight to his face that he only did this for the success of his own race. Nothing more and nothing less. Not only that, but dog. This man grabbed on a piece of Megatron's head and just ripped it out like the piece of garbage Megatron is, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, if I was Megatron, bro, I simply would not have let this slide. The pillars were activated, but were later shot down by an angry Optimus Prime. Bro tells Sentinel to come off that building and fight him, and they just started mixing! Optimus uses his axe and sword to push Sentinel into a nearby building and starts trying to stab Bro, but Sentinel wasn't having none of that. Bro said, nah! He headbutted Optimus and kicked him away! The two are still throwing hands and blades at each other, but Sentinel calls nearby reinforcements to rain down missiles and gunfire on Optimus. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. He lost some respect points for me there. Like, how are you gonna call all your shooters to take down one op when you're fully capable of doing the entire thing all by yourself? The cowardice is crazy with this one, I'm just saying. Optimus ran up and did this cold maneuver on Sentinel, but Sentinel decides to just absolutely need Robo Jesus in his face, bro. Just disrespectful. But then all of a sudden, Sentinel's shooters got shot down by human military forces, man. They never stood a chance. It was crazy. While all that was happening, Sentinel was trying to just absolutely pack up the Autobots. Bro was trying to punish Bumblebee and Sideswipe, but luckily Sentinel gets hit in the chest with a well-placed rocket, bro. They sent mans flying backwards. That's crazy. You'll never believe what happened afterwards, man. Sentinel wasn't expecting the humans and Autobots to be packing all that heat. Pa what? Bro, why did I leave that in the script? Um, <laughs> uh, he wasn't expecting to encounter all that firepower, so instead of shutting everybody down himself, this man decides to flee, bro. Nah, somebody, bro. Please, somebody take his black air forces away from him. His privileges have been revoked on God. Luckily, Optimus being the goat he was, wasn't just gonna let bro do the dash. He was trying to slice that sentinel while bro was still in his truck mode. Optimus was setting on a defensive. Bro was just pounding him with sword strikes. <laughs> sentinel guards all of Optimus' slashes while trash talking the entire time. Bro just told Optimus to his face, Oh, he's the bravest of us all, but you were never able to make the hard decisions. Like, bro, you didn't have to disrespect him like that, man. I'm just saying. But just then, Sentinel disarms Robo Jesus and slices his arm off. Bro, no! Optimus is pleading with Sentinel to show mercy, but then all you hear is a Nashry shotgun from Gears of War go off in his Megatron. Bro wanted it back in blood after Sentinel disrespecting him earlier, man. He started pummeling, bro. Launched bro and head first into a bridge they were fighting on. Kicked his shiesty off, whipped bro in the face with the butt of his shotgun and just disemboweled him, bro. That's crazy. At this point, though, the pillars deactivated for good. Megatron took one W and thought he was the protagonist for a second. He started talking to Optimus, saying, Who would you be without me, Prime? But Optimus had nothing but murder in his mind, dog. He straight up tells Megatron, Time to find out. Like, oh my god, bro, you messed up. You messed up. It's over. It's over. Pack it up. You're done. You are done. You should have kept your mouth shut, dog. I I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. With just one arm, Optimus absolutely disrespects Megatron, man. Man's got slashed at multiple times by Optimus's axe, slicing the Megatron's gross-looking forehead, and bro literally performs a Mortal Kombat fatality by ripping out his entire Fantastic. spinal cord, head attached. Oh my god! Optimus wasn't done disrespecting though. Sentinel was still alive, but just barely. <laughs> bro was on the floor looking like a crawler from COD Zombies. Sentinel tries to apologize to Optimus, saying that he didn't mean to betray him in the Autobots, but Robo Jesus wasn't trying to hear none of that. Man's ready his Nasher shotgun, aims it at Sentinel's head top, and just absolutely unloads the gun. Optimus just packed Megatron and Sentinel within a single minute of it within each other, bro. He really scored the victory real on them. Like, that's absolutely insane. Wanna know what else is insane, though? The fact that he made it to the end of the video, man. Thanks for watching, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed it, for real. Sorry for getting this one out a little bit late, though. Besides, <laughs> besides dealing with allergies, like, I was low-key grinding Destiny 2's, like, new season of the deep. So, you know, that happened. But speaking of gaming, though, I was thinking about making a second channel dedicated to nothing but gameplays and build showcases and stuff. So, if you want to see that, just let me know in the comment section. I'll probably get that started. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Izzy Mandias. Remember to take good care of yourselves, and yeah, man, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Later, gang. Have it, have it, uh, have a good one.